What's anxiety? Anxiety, you know, anxiety comes up in, in many individuals nowadays. Um, anxiety, you know, where does it come from? What's it all about? Well, I like to call anxiety hypervigilance. Hypervigilance, hyper readiness. So a person with anxiety, and well, let's just say paranoia, they've got a filter operating in their mind, you know, conscious mind, which is scanning continually for threats. You know, it's like they program their internal computer to scan for threats, scan for potential harm. Now, where does this come from? It comes from traumatic experiences in the past. Because remember, we're, as children, we're vulnerable. We're totally reliant on our parents for love, our caregivers. And if if they, our parents divorce, or if you know, if there's abuse or if there's just horrible things going on, you know, even if there's a war that takes one parent away and or maybe you're getting given up for adoption, then this child is is coming from a rocky foundation where, you know, at, at one point one parent is taken away, one parent has died, or both parents are taken away, and they're in this place of hyper anxiety, hyper vigilance. And immediately you imagine if you're a child and your whole world you know when you grow up imagine the difference between a child that grows up and they they know their parents and they grow up through, the, through their whole lives and they've got this stable routine every single day yeah that's normal but imagine a child who doesn't have a stable routine every day where their parents are maybe drug drug abusers and and totally off their tree and then they don't give them pick them up from school and you know give them cut lunches and all that kind of stuff and you know always there for them and give them consistent emotional responses that child is going to grow up with anxiety and that in later life it's going to be serious anxiety, hyper anxiety, hyper vigilance to make sure that they're protected. Now unconscious mind, all, we, all it's doing with that anxiety is just trying to protect them, trying to keep them safe by being extremely vigilant and extremely hyper, hyper vigilant about reality in order to keep themselves safe and to create massive amounts of certainty around themselves. This can wreak havoc in your relationships. And a person with anxiety can become very controlling in their relationships because they have that massive need for certainty. So if you've got anxiety, the way to heal it, other than obviously what the, you know the standard mainstream medical healing paradigm is to get medicated, go see a counselor or a psychologist for years, and just be me and me become a medicated zombie. Yeah. The other way to heal that is to go back, because counselors and psychologists, you know, look, I'm using that as a very general term. There are some awesome people in there, and if you're an awesome psychologist and counselor, and you're an expert at using the unconscious mind, all power to you. I love you, and you're awesome. And if, but if you're a counselor or psychologist who's not really trained in working through the unconscious mind, and you're just really working with the conscious mind, you can help people find trauma, and then you medicate people. I still love you. There's there's other deeper ways for you to, to, to help people more effectively than just keeping them on drugs for you know 10 years or more for the rest of their lives. Uh, for the person with anxiety, it's going back to that past and healing all that past trauma with their parents and stuff and all that. Working through that, bringing that to a level of peace and coming to the, pr the present now and, you know, just collapsing all those those anxiety producing triggers in your, your present day so that you can heal, heal that anxiety in the present day. So, yeah, absolutely possible to heal your anxiety. It's just going to the right people and getting the right help. So this is Roger from Healing Warrior Program. You can heal your life now. Have an awesome day.